The Kerala backwaters are a chain of brackish, slightly salted lagoons and lakes that lie parallel to the Arabian sea coast of Kerala state in southern India. This aquatic network includes five large lakes linked by canals, both man-made and natural. It is fed by 38 rivers and extends nearly half the length of Kerala state. And this is where our journey begins, in the city of Alapuza, formerly known as Alipay. But first, let's get comfortable. Find your most comfortable position lying down on your back or your side, your head resting gently on your pillow. Take a big breath in, filling up the belly, and then let it go. When you feel ready, invite your eyes to close and take a few more rounds of big, deep breaths. With each exhale, feel yourself sink into the bed a little bit more. Feeling your body relax and release with each breath. Know that there is nothing you need to do right now. Nowhere you need to be. Our journey today brings us to the city of Alapuza in the state of Kerala in southern India. It is a vibrant, bustling little city full of life and sensory explorations. And it is here that you find yourself meandering down to a place called Finishing Point, a houseboat base. It is a dock of sorts where houseboat after houseboat lines the shore. The houseboats of the Kerala backwaters are floating cottages that measure about 100 feet in length, with thatched roof covers and wooden hulls. You walk down the road lined with boats, taking in each one. Some are very large, with multiple floors. Others are small and cozy. Men stand on the decks, calling out to you and other passers-by, trying to get you to come on their boat. But you feel yourself inexplicably pulled onward toward one houseboat in particular. It is a smaller houseboat with only a partial upper level, what appears to be a viewing deck. You approach and are met by the captain and staff of this houseboat. They greet you warmly, as though they were expecting you, 
and hand you a tall glass of cold lemonade. Beans of condensation have quickly begun to form on the outside of the glass. It is still morning, but already the day is hot. The lemonade is cool and refreshing, providing a welcome reprieve from the heat. You are invited to make yourself at home. You enter the houseboat and take a look around. There is a cozy bedroom, a kitchen, a dining area, and a deck upstairs to sit out on and take in the view. You settle into your home for the next 24 hours. As the houseboat slowly pulls away from land and begins its journey down the Kerala backwaters. You make your way to the front of the boat and settle in to a lounger with your glass of lemonade. You sip it slowly, tasting the delicious mix of tartness and sweetness. The coolness of it travels down the back of your throat and it feels as though it spreads throughout your chest. Each sip makes you feel more and more at peace as the houseboat begins to meander down the slow moving canal, gradually leaving the other houseboats behind. When you finish your lemonade, you make your way up a ladder that leads you to the upstairs deck. Here you find some comfortable low couches to relax on. You relax into a couch, feeling any worries drift away as you sink in. As you relax into this present moment, you see the local life of the backwaters unfolding all around you. Children are being taken to school by boat. Men and women move from one side of the riverbank to the other in small canoes. Women are doing laundry on the rock scrubbing garments vigorously before rinsing them and beating them on the surface of the rocks. Time passes you by and before you know it, the houseboat has come to a stop and you are called down to lunch. You make your way down the ladder into the open dining area below. The table is set 
with a delicious lunch of fried fish, rice, mixed vegetables, and a bowl of sambar, a lentil-based vegetable stew. The day has only gotten hotter, so you have just a few spoonfuls of the sambar, but devour everything else. And to finish off your meal, a bowl of fresh fruit, papaya, pineapple, star fruit, and banana. The dining area is open on three sides, so you continue to have an expansive view of your surroundings as you enjoy your meal. You see other boats make their way past you, and you notice some smaller canals that lead to unknown places. Canals too small for this houseboat. As you finish your lunch, you ask the captain about those canals. Is it possible to explore them? Why, yes, of course, he responds. We can take a canoe. So you head to your room and change into more comfortable clothes and meet the captain at the back of the boat where you disembark and climb into a small canoe. The captain gets in in front of you and hands you a double-sided oar. Together, you begin to row toward the small canal. You row in unison with the captain so that you don't stray off course. Right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left. You make your way down the narrow canal and enter a waterway labyrinth that's impossible to see with a large houseboat. You make a right turn down another narrow canal and then a left down another. Small homes are visible from the canoe. People going about their day-to-day activities. These narrow canals are where life happens. You pass under low bridges and canopies made by trees that reach from one side of the canal to the other, as though they are holding hands over the water. It's a whimsical green wonderland, a peaceful and picturesque palm-lined network of canals. You meander down the narrow canals, taking in the peace and the beauty around you. You don't know how much time has passed, but eventually you exit a canal onto an expansive lake. This is Vembanad Lake, and it is the heart of the Kerala backwaters. As you row out into the lake, 
right, left, right, left. You notice that the sun is getting low in the sky. You stop to take in the sunset, watching the sky change from blue to purple to pink to red. As the sun makes its way closer and closer to the horizon line. You could stay here forever, taking in the wonder of the setting sun. But as the sun dips out of sight, you know that the light will soon begin to fade. So you begin to make your way back to the houseboat, rowing easily across the lake. Left, right, 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 left, left, right. The last light of the day is beginning to fade as you arrive back at the houseboat. You thank the captain for a wonderful evening of exploration and make your way to your room for a shower. The bathroom and shower are small but comfortable. The water is nice and hot, and you linger beneath it for a little while before heading out, getting dressed, and making your way to the dining area for dinner. The crew has lit burning coils to drive away any mosquitoes, and you sit down for a traditional South Indian Thali, a meal made up of a selection of various dishes that are served on a platter. Tonight's meal includes basmati rice, potatoes with peas and tomatoes, spiced okra, lentil dal, cooked mung beans, roti bread, and onion bhaji. And for dessert, a sweet, thick yogurt with hints of cardamom and nutmeg. It is a flavorful, textured meal. One that leaves you feeling satisfied and content. After dinner, you find a big, comfortable chair on the open deck and curl up with a book. The crew bids you good night and turns off the houseboat's motor. The sounds of the backwaters envelop you. You hear the sound of the water beneath you crickets chirping in the night, the trees rustling gently in the breeze. And after a little while, you retire to the cozy bedroom to continue reading in bed. The houseboat sways ever so gently on the water creating a gentle rocking motion. With your belly full of delicious food and your body delightfully tired from an afternoon of rowing, sleep starts to call your name. And eventually you put down your book and allow your eyes to close. 
letting the sounds of nature and the gentle rock of the houseboat lull you into a blissful sleep. Thank you.